slightly talented welterweight on the undercard, Adrian Broner. A lot of the luster fell off of him fight, following his loss to Maidana. Kind of went from the most sought-after young guy to another one of the young guys. Do you still think he can fulfill the promise people think he once had? Well, I think he's going to fight this fight at 140, and I think that... 140, excuse me. Alan. Yeah, that's okay. And that's the highest I think he can go. He is not a welterweight. Adrian Broner is not a welterweight <laughs> and will lose to most of the welterweights in the world. Uh, the big, the good welterweights, the really good welterweights. 140 is as high as he can go. Now, if Adrian Broner had been able to stay at 135, he could have stayed at lightweight and probably been champion for many, many years. I, I, you know, but he matriculated up in weight. Now, at 140, it's an interesting question. The fight he has coming up Saturday against John Molina, who moved up from 135 pounds, uh, is a power-punching 135 pounder. The question is, will that power affect uh, Adrian Broner if he lands a big overhand right uh, during the course of this fight? Uh, Molina had fought very well, and is even in losing to Lucas Matisse, did fight so well in his last fight against Humberto Soto. Surprising loss. I don't think any of us saw that coming. We thought Molina would, would be able to handle him. But uh, this is not a gimme for Adrian Broner. Is, is Broner a pound-for-pound pound talent. Can, can he become one of the, the elite fighters in boxing, or was that an overstatement we all thought when he was undefeated? Well, he's not now, certainly, and uh, I mean, he's not. I, to be honest, I never thought he was. He, that doesn't mean he couldn't be, uh, but nothing that Adrian Broner did leading up to the Maidana fight gave us the idea that he should be a pound-for-pound, pound, top 10 pound-for-pound pound fighter. That doesn't mean I'm saying he's a bad fighter or that he doesn't have skill sets or that he can't grow as a fighter. Uh, it just means he wasn't there yet. And I think th what it essentially says is that some of the attention and hype that, that surrounded him kind of overtook where he was at as a fighter. And I think he probably uh, believed it in a sense because it made him go up too far in weight. It made him take on a fighter he wasn't really ready to face, I don't think, in Marcos Maidana. Now, having said all that, we have to give him credit for getting knocked down early several times against Maidana, being in a very, very difficult fight, and coming back to perform fairly well later in the fight. So I give him credit for that. Uh, but the jury's out on uh, Adrian Broner in terms of what he can accomplish in the sport of boxing. That's why uh, in his last fight against uh, Taylor, he fought pretty well. But let's face it. He had a little bit of a struggle against a C-plus to B-level fighter. And that's taking nothing away from Taylor. I like him. He's a good fighter. So we're, the jury is still out. We're still wondering, where's Adrian Broner going to end up? And he's still a young man. So where's he going to end up when the dust settles? And like you said.